I'm Andrew Thomas from Sunseeker Mallorca and uh, we took the opportunity today to show you around this fabulous 55 Superhawk. Some of the features of the boat you may not be aware of, but this space, it's very beamy, very wide, um, lots of open space for socialising. It's perfect for um, day boating here in the Mediterranean. At the back here, the sunbed, it's a large sunbed anyway, and then you've got these tilting backrests, three of them across the back, so you can look out across the sun. And then one of the big flexibilities of the Superhawk is the seating arrangement. So these backrests will actually tilt up, three of them through the middle, which provides you with this bench seat across the back. Then we have this large table which can rotate round and will fold out. So you can actually make that one large table and making it into a big lunchtime socialising area. It will also go up and down to make you a coffee table. But moving further into the boat is this, this two L-shaped seating. These L-shaped seating are also flexible, they'll move around. So just by moving the lever on the bottom, the seats just slide in. So if you want to all gather around in the afternoon on the back deck, enjoying the sunshine, you can have lunch, socialise, and likewise they come straight back out in the same way. Above this, off the top of the large hardtop, you've got a lovely uh, electric sun awning that comes out to give some shade as well into this area. Then moving forward into the wet bar, so directly into your socialising and entertaining space, you have this large, well-equipped uh, wet bar with a central sink with running hot and cold water. And then underneath, we've got the facility for an ice maker and also another fridge, large fridge. And then just under here, you have the optional barbecue. There is also an option in the wet bar actually to have a rise and fall television. So if you're into sports or TV series, then you can watch all that from the comfort of the aft cockpit. The wet bar also houses the glasses and, uh, uh, and uh, drinksware for the back cockpit. And you have storage lockers either end for additional bottles of water or wine or champagne or however you stock your bar. The helm area is outrageous. It steps up here, so the visibility is amazing all the way around, panoramic. The central helm with a one single seat with these bolsters that lift you up if you need to be elevated depending on your height or the running position. The step for your feet as well. And you've got this single piece of glass at the helm. So it's a completely unrestricted view uh, when navigating. Lovely outlook. And then moving out, Sunseeker have created these panoramic doors, which just slide in effortlessly. One on the port side, one on the starboard side. This created the additional beam in the cockpit because you haven't got the side deck running to the full aft. And then you can walk effortlessly to your first step up other than the helm position to the foredeck. So now we're up on the bow deck. This area is huge. The sunbed is massive, but it's quite flexible in its design. You've got the three tilting backrests at the back, which can also go lay flat. And then this whole section, if you want to make it an even bigger sunbed, rolls aft and the sunbeds, uh, tilting sunbeds then go down. There's an additional cushion that goes in here. So it's a very flexible space. We haven't put it up today due to the wind and the weather, but there's also carbon fiber poles and a complete mesh sunshade. So you don't have to sit up here in the open sunshine. The really wide side decks, great feeling of space and security for all the family. So we've stepped down from the helm in down through the stairs into the saloon and galley area. The first thing you notice is the physical height above me. Am I? I'm not the tallest and not the shortest, but I can touch the ceiling here. And then you've got this big glass window above, which with LED lighting and the natural light flooding in, this space is, is huge. It's a really, you get a real feel of the beam of the boat down here. You notice straight away, we've got a big dining table down here. This is an option. As standard, you wouldn't have the table, so we can do either way. And then there's this lovely open saloon area, big sofa, TV. And on this side, we're into the galley. We've got a, a ceramic hob with its own built-in extractor, an oven, you've got your crockery and cutlery in here with hot and cold water for the sink. And then here we have uh, the large fridge freezer, perfectly enough for uh, cruising around the Mediterranean a couple of days, full of drinks, perfect. Going forward, we come into the VIP cabin. The VIP cabin has its own ensuite in here, separate shower, uh, toilet and sink. And when you come inside, you actually feel there's a, a real good head height. 
So if the exterior styling of the boat is very low and sleek, but inside you don't feel that in any way, shape or form. Large windows, port and, side, uh, port and starboard side, with uh, opening portholes for natural ventilation should you require it. All cabins are with air conditioning. So we have air conditioning in the forward, the mid and the saloon. And then you also have air conditioning pot, uh, spot air conditioning at the helm for the cockpit space as well. So fully equipped for Mediterranean boating with air conditioning. So walking out of the forward VI cabin, we come back through to the center of the boat where the full beam midships cabin is located. Here you step down into the cabin. You've got this large double bed, big windows, lots of natural light coming into this cabin and then lots of storage space and full-size wardrobes either side. You've also got an ensuite. You have a shower cubicle with a toilet located in there and the sink area. So actually two cabins, more than enough accommodation, lots of space, lots of storage space, optional TV as well. And don't forget all the cabins are air conditioned. So there we are, this is the Superhawk 55. If you'd like to make an appointment to come and have a look at the boat at any time at all, contact any members of, the, of our team or come to the office or send us an email. We look forward to welcoming you on board. Thank you.